got original 1970 Chevelle SS, original AM radio, and uh, we've gone through the case, the front of it, uh, redone the background in it, polished all the push buttons and, uh, and the knobs, and we've done a full Aurora design conversion on it. Uh, it now has AM FM stereo auxiliary in which is automatic it's got four channels out 45 watts of channel it's got USB port this is your port you'll be getting this will play a thumb drive which comes in the package with music on it and the files uh, it also is push button operated this will also charge your phone your devices uh, it also has Bluetooth hand-free phone calls um, screaming your music voice command voice assistant it's got voice ID for when you're on radio you want to know what channel you're on since you've got an AM radio it also will seek and scan for you. This radio is fully loaded. Uh, we've, he sent me his original front speakers, and we've come up with these and mounted the brackets back on it. And uh, we're gonna put a set of six by nines in the back. I have a sub too, but I couldn't get it on the bench. And uh, we're gonna demonstrate the radio for you. Right now you're on AM. Traveling bass like you've always had. Uh, this radio here, if you hook up all four speakers, you'll have balance and fader built in your toner control. That's pretty neat. We've got all your push buttons working, presets like you're supposed to. Now, if you want to go into fader, You'll notice this thing has a center notch in it. That means right in the center of that pot, in half, all you know, halfway treble and bass. And say you've got these in the back and these in the front, you'd like to hear the back ones a little bit more. Let's go into fader. Let's bring him up in six by nine. And all we do is take it and turn it clockwise, like a twelve to two motion, one two, and she's gonna come on her and say in the fade in the fader mode. Fader adjust. There's the rear. There's the front. Balance it out. Let it beat. Now we're back on toner. Alright, now we want to do right and left because he does have four speakers separated. We're going to go counterclockwise like a 12 to 10 motion. It's bubbling over. Balance adjust. There's your right side, your left side. Balance it out, let it be. Now we're back on toner. Now we've got all four speakers set up. You shouldn't have to go back in it anymore unless you want to bring the back ones up some more. Traveling bass. You won't go to AM radio. You have an operating LED right here. We didn't want to put too many LEDs in there. He likes to keep it as original as can. That LED is for status. Every time you turn this radio on, it also runs a diagnostic on itself and the speakers. And that's what that LED is for. And when you go into seek and scan, it will be flashing. So you won't go to AM radio. You just simply turn the unit off and right back on. Takes you to AM radio. Off and right back on, takes you right back to FM stereo. That's a pretty neat deal. Now we're going to do uh, show you how to do the seek and scan. If you take the tuner knob and you take your needle and go up twice one, two. A little light gets to blinking right there, and now we're going to be in your scan mode. It will scan station for you without the needle moving. There's the next one. I will show you how to stop on it. This is good if you're out of town and you have your presets set for your local house or your local city stations. You don't have to mess them up, and you don't have to sit there and fumble with it. There's the next one. We'll let it keep scanning until we find one we like. Lord Jesus, meet us, Father, where we need you to um, change and give us perspective and guidance and direction, Lord Jesus. And I pray.
Say we like it stationary, all we do is turn it once. That little light gets flashing quick. Now we can stay there and it'll lock on it, or it will go quiet till I find it. Just pull out a preset and got it. That's how your seek and scan works. Also, since you've got an AM dial and you're on FM, you'd like to know what station you're on, you just take the volume knob and turn it up three times. One, two, three. Nine, two, dot, one. If it tells you what station you're on, it will do this on AM and FM. And that's a pretty neat little feature there. Pretty nice sound to it. Uh, your auxiliary in, you'll get a male to male cord, comes in the package. All you do is plug any device into it you want to, bring it up and hit play, it's automatic. That little light has gone to green. It tells you you're on auxiliary in. Uh, if you got a CD player, or a, a CD disc changer, or satellite radio, when you get ready to go back to radio, just simply turn the device off. In 20 seconds, the radio will go back to where you had it. Uh, if you want to shorten that 20 seconds, you just turn it off and back on. It remembers where you're at during that 20 seconds. We're going to let it do its thing. We're going to automatically let it switch over. Double checking it out, make sure everything's right. Next, the birthday now, switch Friday. back like it's supposed to, automatic. That's how your auxiliary in works. Whoops. Dropping all my stuff this morning. Now we're going to run our Bluetooth in. We're going to let her help it is. You're going to do the initial pair up with your phone. It will take multiple devices. It'll always pick the first, so if you got your wife or girlfriend's going to drive the car later, you can do her second. But it will pick yours first. That's where this push button comes in handy. All we're going to do is hold, press it and hold it down. We're going to do the initial pair up. Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on her phone. All we do is tap on it. And she'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. Now we're connected up. So every time you get in your vehicle, once you do the initial pair up, it's the only time you should have to do it. You get in your vehicle, turn the radio on, you have your phone with you, she'll come on her and say Bluetooth device connected. We're going to do a uh, voice command since this is set up so you are not driving with a phone in your hand. Phone call comes in, all you do is tap the button once to answer the call or turn the tuning dial up once. You want to bring up your phone, tell it what to do, all you do is uh, hold this button down. Play music. Now it's going to music on my phone. If my phone works right. Sometimes she says, oh, I'm having trouble finding your music. Let's see what she does this time. Sorry, I'm right. having trouble <laughs> playing your music. Let's try that again. She does that every time. Just let it go back to radio. Play music. It's my phone doing it. Oh, I do that. I'm not set up for it. There we go. Now let's try that again. My phone was messed up. Let's go. Let's let it go back to radio. Takes just a few seconds for it to cycle back over. Now let's do it. Hold this down. What you got is you got a built-in mic right beside this push button, and you get an extra mic with it. Takes the car a little loud. Play music. Now 
now we're gonna show you how to operate it. There's two ways of changing your music, answering your phone well, call. If you wanna change your phone Montgomery call, guitar. all you do is just turn the tuning dial up a lick. That will change your songs. That will back up. You back up and repeat. Or you push this push button once to advance, twice to back up or repeat. Phone call comes in to override whatever you've got the radio doing. Press this once and talk to answer your call or turn the tune knob up once, answer your call. When you're done, just let it hang up. It'll go back to doing whatever you had the radio doing. It's easy. You can hook, look up addresses, tell it to call home, whatever your smartphone's capable of doing. They call them smartphones. He was dressed like all the pins. Half drunk and hollow eyed. You said it's a long walk to Nashville. Would you like to ranch? Now we won't go back to radio. We're going to use the push button, but there is another way of doing it. You take that volume knob and turn it up twice. And then saddle. Stop music. See, now it works just like the volume knob. So you can actually put, hold this down, bring day. your phone up, or turn this up twice. That's pretty neat. That's how your Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls, and all work. Now we're going to do the USB. You'll get a thumb drive with the manuals on it, the video file, and music file. Even though I send you a paper copy of all the manuals, in case you lose it, you can find it. I went to college right and uh, when you first plug this in, a lot of people like hide these, but you can leave it stick in there. Finished my degree and fulfill plug my it in. Operates the same way. Bench your songs. to repeat or back up or you can actually use a tuning knob just like the song. same thing with your volume knob go up twice to summon your bluetooth up go down twice to summon your thumb drive up or put it in pause we won't put that in pause we hold this down one second It'll go to pause and back to radio, or we can take the volume knob and turn it down twice. Put it in pause, going right back to radio. The little LED's gonna flash a couple times. Now we're back on radio. We wanna go back to uh, thumb drive, hold it down one second, right back to thumb drive. Depends on how long you're down, whether it goes back to the same song or not. You know, it's kind of computer age. There's too much code. Put it back in pause, go right back to radio. That's your uh, 1970 Chevelle SS original AM radio with a full roar design and speakers. And I appreciate you letting me do it for you. I'm right now in between shows. I've got three shows I'm doing. And so I'm kind of behind on everything. And the truth and so on. Background. Got a good sound, sounds good. It should work out great for you. We've got the nuts on here for mounting. And uh, it's ready to go. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.